Data references are used to associate various items to attributes in your AF hierarchy. Table lookups access information in tables and assign it to attributes. These tables are configured in the library in PySystem Explorer and can be tables internal to AF, including tables imported from external sources, or tables linked to external sources, scheduled to pick up changes from those external tables. We'll walk through setting up three simple queries to access these tables through attributes. The actual setting up of the internally stored or externally linked table is left to a separate video. In the first example, we'll look up the manufacturer of a pump from an internal table based on the line number and pump type. We'll use substitution parameters in a WHERE clause to accomplish this. In the second example, we're going to look up the status of our pump support contract, which is stored in an externally linked table. And we're going to look this up based on the name of our manufacturer that we found in the first example. We're going to do this using parameterization, meaning the name of the pump manufacturer is actually sent to the external table, so it only needs to return the required results. For very large tables, this can reduce the amount of information that needs to be sent from the externally linked table back to AF. And finally, in the third example, we're going to interpolate between table data. Let's go ahead and get started on our first example, where we look up the name of the pump manufacturer. Here you can see we're in line one at the inlet pump, and we currently have two attributes, the oil temperature and the pump flow rate, which are both PyPoint data references. This element is created from the pump template, and we want to create a new attribute for the name of our pump manufacturer. So let's head on over to the library. We're actually going to create the new attribute here under pump template. So let me say new attribute template, and we're going to call this the pump manufacturer. And our data reference type is going to be table lookup. Before we go ahead and configure the table lookup, let's go ahead and look at the table that we want to pull data from. Also in the library under tables, let's go to pump details. And this table is stored inside of AF. We have one column called line, which contains information about the line number, and another column called pump, which contains information about the inlet versus outlet pump. And finally, based on those, we can determine the manufacturer of our pump. So since we're on line one inlet pump, we expect that the result of our table lookup should return a value of pump you up. Let's go ahead and go back to our pump template and let's configure our table lookup by clicking on settings. And the table lookup data reference dialog box will come up. The table that we want to use for our table lookup is the pump details table. And the resulting column that we want in our attribute is the name of the manufacturer. Now we need to configure our WHERE clause to bring in the correct manufacturer. The first one that we want is that the line number is equal to the name of our parent element. And that's the element that's just one level above the inlet pump. And to do that, we're going to use this substitution parameter here and click add and. Now we also need to use the inlet pump versus outlet pump to pick up the right manufacturer. So our pump needs to be equal to the name of our current element, which is inlet pump, and click add and. And now we have two conditions that must be met for it to pick up the correct row in the table, and it will re return the name of the manufacturer. Go ahead and click on OK and check in my changes. Let's go back to the elements tab. We're on our inlet pump, on our attribute, and sure enough, it brings in the correct manufacturer, pump you up, from the table. In our second example, let's go ahead and look up the status of our support contract with the pump you up manufacturer. We're going to use the name of the pump that we just pulled in, and we're going to pass it to an externally linked table using parameterization. Let's head back on over to PSE, and let's go into the library and take a look at how this table is set up. And this is the pump support table. On the general tab, we can see how it's set up. The most important part here is the query, saying that we're going to take all rows from the supplier information table where the at name variable is equal to the manufacturer. And what that means is we have a column in our externally linked table called manufacturer, and the at name variable needs to be passed from our table lookup data reference that we configure in the attribute. 
Now you don't need to use parameterization for this, but what this does is it actually passes that name of the manufacturer over to the externally linked table, so it doesn't have to return as many results back to AF. Let's go to our pump template, and let's create a new attribute template. And let's call this contract status. Under data references, we'll do a table lookup and go ahead and click settings. And our table that we're going to use is the pump support table. Now you can see that it changed slightly. Before we used the where clause, and you can still use the where clause when you're using parameterization. But in addition, we have this table parameters section that now has the at name variable. And by default, I set it to a value of missing. However, what we want it to actually do is pull in information from the pump based on the pump manufacturer. So it's setting this at name variable to be the same as my pump manufacturer attribute, which for the element that we're working with was pump you up. It'll then look in the manufacturer column in the externally linked table for pump you up. And the column result that we want from that external table is the contract status. Let me go ahead and click OK. And under elements, we can see the returned result is yes, we are currently in contract with the pump you up manufacturer. Our third and final example is interpolating between table data. In PySystem Explorer, we have a pump flow rate of 1.057 and an oil temperature of 223. However, based on the pump for low flow rate, we have a target oil temperature, and that information is stored in a table. Let's go ahead and look at the oil temperature table. When our process flow rate is around 1, our target oil temperature should be just over 200 here. However, we won't actually be able to look up a specific value in this table because it would be very rare that our flow rate would be exactly 1, 2, 3, or 4. So instead we'd like to interpolate between those values. Let's go ahead and set that up under pump template and let's create a new attribute. And we're going to call this target oil temperature. Our data reference type will be a table lookup. And under settings, let me pick the correct table. The resulting column will be the target oil temperature. And our where clause is related to the process flow rate. And we need to interpolate. And the attribute that stores that information is the pump flow rate. Let me go ahead and click OK. And this is actually going to be a value, so let me change my type to double, and our default unit of measure here will be Fahrenheit to display it. Let me go ahead and check that in. And under elements, let me go ahead and hit refresh. So now that we have a current flow rate of 1.17, our target oil temperature in this case, based on interpolation from that table, is 201.7. We've now looked at multiple ways to bring in table data into attributes in your elements in AF. We've used substitution parameters in a where clause from an internal table. We use substitution parameters to pull in an attribute value and parameterized it to an externally linked table, so that external table doesn't need to return as many results back to AF. And we've interpolated between table data.